The Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario has called in the Red Cross as it grapples with a massive wave of kids coming in sick with respiratory illnesses. Today, the opposition grilled the Ford government on how our health care system came to this. Calling in the Red Cross to help in our hospitals should never have to happen. Full stop. It's been all hands on deck at pediatric hospitals across the province as a triple threat virus season continues hitting kids hard. Children's surgeries are being cancelled to make room for the unprecedented wave of patients. Last month, a CHEO had to open a second ICU for babies and toddlers. And this weekend, the hospital announced it now needs assistance from the Red Cross. In the coming days, small teams will be deployed to support hospital staff. What does it mean when a hospital has to call in the Red Cross for help? You know, the Red Cross are, are well placed to to uh, you know go overseas and help in in a range of uh, you know emergency situations and uh, as well as helping at home as well. You know, various uh, hospitals uh, and and healthcare systems are really really in crisis. And uh, what you'd say is this: this is really highlighting that we are really in an emergency situation. And today, the leader of the official opposition was demanding answers. Why is the minister letting the situation in our hospitals get so bad? Health Minister Sylvia Jones was absent from question period today. Instead, her parliamentary assistant was put on the hot seat. Our government has been moving all kinds of things in order to make sure we're prepared for the fall surge, and that is why we opened a second pediatric ICU at CHEO, and why CHEO is now making sure they have more Porter. staff to assist. As everyone knows, having the Red Cross show up at your hospital because you don't have enough people on staff is not a sign that you planned, it's a sign that you failed. In the last few weeks, Ontario has added 18 pediatric ICU beds, going from 112 to 130. But this comes after some points in November, there were fewer beds than critically ill children. During a news conference in Ingersoll this morning, the Premier defended his government's response to the overwhelmed hospitals. I want to thank Red Cross for stepping up, but we're, we're pouring money, as I mentioned, into the health care uh, uh, ministry, unlike this province or this country's ever, ever seen before. And today, the NDP introduced a private member's bill calling for the chief medical officer of health to be separate from the government. Right now, that would be Dr. Kieran Moore. The opposition says making Ontario's top doctor completely independent would ensure Ontarians receive and trust the best public health advice. Shauna Hunt, City News.